Guys, let's see how fast you can hit my galaxy goal. I'm going to follow everyone back once we hit it. Appreciate y'all. Cole with the galaxy. Thank you, Cole. I appreciate it. Thank you, Aiden, for following Life Creator. How'd you crash your car? I hydroplaned. I literally hydroplaned. I'm in a McLaren in the pouring rain. What do you expect? You guys have never drove a McLaren. No, Jack, we haven't driven a McLaren, but we have driven cars. And we know that if you try to show off or look cool or speed up a little bit, you'll be meeting your maker. Unfortunately, your one-way ticket to the afterlife was delayed. And thankfully, no one else took that trip for you but jack you donkey it is common sense that even if you run in rain there's a chance of you meeting your maker but 100 you're going to trip and fall now sure let's say mclaren is a supercar probably not the best idea because the throttle the gas the paddle is too sensitive and you're saying you don't understand how it feels well jack you donkey i hate to break it to you but i rode super bikes for six years and i've been into dozens and dozens of rainy horrible situations and keep in mind it is two wheels and i have never crashed my bike i had some situations where my heart fell into my asshole because of a turn i was taking it was too slippery and my bark started my bike started twerking but i didn't total my bike myself or anyone around me there is no excuse from this what is the excuse because it's a supercar you don't understand that you know you never had a mclaren that's why you don't understand how it is just say you were reading the chat not paying attention to the road and you just sped up without even realizing a car is a car you donkey long story short you're too poor to understand it now before we continue with this whole thing let's give a moment of silence for that mclaren that got crashed it is gone, but definitely forgotten because that car was ugly as shit. But I'm sure it wasn't born like that. It got traumatized the second Jack Doherty became its owner. Even though it will be forgotten because it was an ugly car, his sacrifice will never be forgotten when he tried to take himself out of misery and take Jack with him. Even though it was a failed mission, it is the trying that counts. Honestly respect respect now as you can see justin bieber from timu went live and his title on his live said that i crashed my mclaren help me make it back laughing emoji crying emoji and if you think your life is sad there are hundreds of people who are donating to this guy live galaxy after galaxy after having 25 26 000 people watching him live why do I think they're donating to him? Honestly, I would say that even though a lot of people say they want him gone, they don't want him gone. Because if he's gone, who's going to be our punching bag? Who's going to, who are we going to make fun of? Yes, there are cringe people. There are very annoying people, very punchable people. But Jack is top of the game. You're angry. You're having an argument with your family, friends, or a stranger. Just be like, fuck Jack Doherty and start cursing at him. It just makes you feel good. So if Jack is gone, if he's canceled, if he's off the platforms, who are we going to make fun of? Now, if you haven't wished a Jack a happy birthday, this is your chance. He's so happy that he made it to 21 and Kick decided to give him an early happy birthday present as well by permanently banning him. Honestly, with that gift, I got to give it to Kick. Respect. Respect. Now, just yesterday, Jack also went and made this post saying, going to post more detailed response today, but it's been 24 hours since the accident. And I just want to say how grateful I am that Michael and I are alive. 100% Jack, because all you cared about was Michael in that video. Respect. I'm so sorry, Michael, for putting you through. <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep it serious. Babe. Thank you all. Thank you to all the first responders and everyone who helped us get out of the car. This could have been so much worse, but it's a huge learning lesson. Now, there's a new video that's been posted online that I haven't shared in the last video we talked about, Jack. This is when exactly exactly happened and they were still inside the car and people were trying to help them out and it wasn't the airbag or his luck that saved jack in that situation it was a compassion the opportunity that he saw that the advantage he can take away from this whole situation help 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 break the window oh oh help oh can you hold this oh, buddy. Oh. So as you can see, this human being, first thing he did is check on his passenger, his cameraman to make sure he's all right. I honestly think that one thing that, you know, hurt him more than crashing his $200,000 car was the fact that he didn't have a tripod inside his car. Because if that tripod was there, he would get out of the car, go place the tripod, get back in the car and act like people are helping him he's dying inside the car and he's trying to jump outside the car and without a doubt cross my heart i hope jack dies 
I know for a fact that when they crashed, Michael was like, no, Jack was like, yes, content. And I feel like if Michael wasn't into some critical condition and a lot of people supporting him, he would end up getting fired. Jack in the back of his mind is like, I can't rely on anyone with this whole content thing. I gotta do everything myself. No, my car, bro. Vamos, baby. Vamos, oh. Dude. My car! Holy shit, no! Are you fing kidding me, bro? No! Mike, are you good? Yup, there we go. I thought we were gonna go through this whole video without checking on Michael. As you can see, Jack didn't lie in his statement. He's absolutely a very kind human being who checked on Michael first and cared about him throughout the whole incident that happened now these are the pictures that jack posted on his story on instagram the second it happened there's around like 3,000 different clips and footages because obviously he had to update everyone since everyone was just so worried about him and michael he posted this second picture is him with michael michael getting a treatment in the hospital and just an hour later after updating everyone with michael's health he posted and promoted his only fans holy fucking shit fuck i don't think he even sees what he's doing i don't think he realizes what he's doing time and place don't mean shit to jack doherty hey guys i just escaped death michael escaped death we're all right but here's our you know only fans if you want more content and more wink wink spicy combos free of content today i mean he said he said free of content i doubt it's free maybe he was feeling generous that you know he was alive that day he was like free today watch my girlfriend getting shakalaka boom boom for free i guess he was feeling generous i also want to talk about the insurance situation he was caught on camera with his phone texting reckless driving he was speeding he wasn't the speed you should be driving in the rain and this can all lead into legal problems there's no official statement from the authorities yet what are they gonna do with it maybe they're building a case but if you remember from halloween as well where jack's security guard absolutely shut off the this uh, what is that cobrina's friend out of this world his insurance said that we're not paying for the halloween kale he wasn't really that worried after the ko all they cared about was the content that he was getting out of it and the money he was going to make from it to promote his OnlyFans. He thought his insurance was going to cover it, but they didn't. Now, with this situation, everything is in front of them. My insurance won't cover that, right? Great day today, guys. Lost a quarter million dollar car. Well, in the back of his head, he thinks that the insurance is going to cover it. But the more dramatic the situation is, the more sad. This feels like when I was... 10 years old and i wanted to be like a sad guy and i wanted everyone to know that i'm a sad guy i used to put emo songs put headphones in my ears and just take a picture of myself post it on social media n-i-t-m no n-i-t-f-m not in the fucking mood don't text me blackberry days bbm days black screen this feels like the bbm days back in the day when that shit used to happen but now jack is at 21 years old, he's doing this shit. And if you think you're an attention whore, I hate to break it to you, but Jack Doherty will always defeat you when it comes to that. Now, in one part of the video, he went on with his friend on the phone FaceTime, and he said something very interesting that got cut off way too early. Bro, yeah. dog, who, who was driving your car? Me. Damn, no. Now I'm 99% sure that the insurance is not going to cover it after all the evidence being literally recorded and it went viral all over the place. But there's still a 1% chance where the insurance will go through with it and just pay him in full, basically. But I really hope they don't. I really hope that they see this whole footage and I ho really hope the authorities see this footage, decide to make a move on Jack and press him on legal actions and his insurance just deny it. And if, you know, Jack wants to fight them, they go to court and Jack loses. That's what most likely, I mean, my fingers are crossed. I'm not really an expert when it comes to car insurances, but from my knowledge, they shouldn't cover this. And as we all know, his last insurance when it came to lawsuits against them, people want to sue him. They absolutely wanted to do nothing with him. So let's see what's next for Jack. He has no platform to go on. Kick banned him. Twitch doesn't want him. The last resort might be Rumble, but no one streams. No one watches Rumble. Maybe he'll spend the rest of his days being a pimp promoting his 
OF crew members on his IG, on his Twitter. Maybe he'll go live and ask for Galaxies every once in a while to pay the bills. We don't know what's going to happen. Only time would tell, but I hope he doesn't go away because I just love talking about Jack Doherty. I love talking about how humble it is and I absolutely love shitting on this guy because it is a good deed. If you feel like you haven't done any good deeds for the past couple of weeks or a couple of months and you want to donate $5 to the people in need or just give it to a random person, a homeless person on the street, save that money. Just curse at Jack Jack Doherty and good deeds will be added to your spreadsheet. You'll save money and feel good about yourself. Anyways, take it easy. Just wanted to talk about this whole thing, update you with the whole situation. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, give it a subscription. As usual, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll catch you at the next one.